Mindfulness is simply sustained present moment awareness. Sustained present moment awareness. It can be directed internally at your own thoughts, feelings, sensations, desires, and so forth. And it can be directed externally, including toward the play of emotion on the face of another person or a big truck driving next to you on the freeway. Mindfulness can also be narrow, narrowed down into a field of tight concentration, including moving into non-ordinary states of meditative absorption. Mindfulness can also be opened out wide in terms of what's called choiceless awareness or open awareness, in which we're utterly open to and receptive to the whole stream of consciousness going by. That's what I mean by mindfulness. To enable mindfulness as distinct factors, it helps to have a clear intention to be mindful. It also helps to be able to tolerate what we're mindful of, including things that are painful or disturbing. So to grow resilience helps us be mindful. It, another factor that supports mindfulness is compassion. Compassion for the pain that we see out there in the world or that we feel inside ourselves. That helps us remain mindful of it and not turn away. And another factor that really also supports mindfulness is acceptance. So a, a kind of an attitude of letting it be the way it is. We may wish it be that it's different, but we're not trying to lie about or go to war with the reality that is here in this moment. So that's what I mean when I talk about mindfulness. Also, uh, I should add that mindfulness is not at odds with taking action to make the world a better place or to grow strengths inside or to heal ourselves. Sometimes people make the mistake of equating mindfulness with only internal self-awareness or make the mistake of equating mindfulness with uh, a completely inert, uh, in some ways, passive witnessing of our own experience. It's possible to be mindful while we're letting go of painful feelings, tension in the body, thoughts that make us crazy. And it's also possible to be mindful while we're exercising wise effort inside our mind to learn from the experiences and grow from the experiences we're having. Sometimes people uh, will say, when you speak about making efforts to grow, they'll say, well, it's not mindfulness. Mm, that's a mistaken understanding of what mindfulness really is. It's possible to be both mindful and also to exercise wise effort.